A remarkable recovery. A Greenfield woman who was buried alive during last month's tornado can soon leave the hospital. The F4 tornado hit Dixie Dingman's home, breaking 10 of her ribs and her spine. Only on KCCI, our Pepper Papura spoke with Grandma Dixie today at the hospital. And Pepper, she's doing really well. That's right, Kayla. Grandma Dixie actually counts herself as a miracle. She says her life was saved thanks to her lifestyle, good timing, and her faith. And I saw the basement wall coming at me like this. And I said, Lord, am I going to die? Dixie Dingman ran for her basement when she saw the skies turn green over Greenfield. I saw green skies. Uh, I think I better go to the basement. Halfway down her stairwell, the tornado ripped into her home. When I saw that wall come at me, that's when I knew things were not good. Oh, that was horrific. I don't want to ever see that sight again, I'll tell you that. Scary as it was being crushed by a part of her house, that wall may have saved Dingman's life. I didn't get to the place I was headed for, but as it turned out, I would have been killed down there. This is what's left of the house. Most of the basement was blown away. This rubble is where Dingman was found, but also protecting her from the violent wind. Pretty soon I heard somebody say, Dixie, are you down there? Oh, yes, I am. <laughs> but the horrors of her journey were just beginning. Debris broke tin of her ribs and back, as well as causing dozens of more minor injuries. I was in so much pain, and they couldn't give me anything. I just had to endure. And She arrived at the hospital around an hour after the storm, but her wounds called for care that was in Des Moines. She says ongoing storms stopped life flights into the city, so an ambulance trekked her to Iowa Methodist, taking whatever route was necessary. I asked him, how come you took the railroad tracks in that ambulance? Three weeks later, Dingman's surgeries are done and she's undergoing physical therapy. They are amazed at how fast I'm healing. The secret to her quick recovery Grandma Dixie's habit of walking six miles every day. I wouldn't have made it if, if I hadn't been doing that. And Grandma Dixie is set to leave the hospital on Tuesday. She'll be staying with one of her daughters while she continues trying to heal enough that she can get back to those daily walks.